Like wildfire season isn't contained to just a few months anymore. The deadliest wildfire. Fast moving wildfire. Volcano wildfire. Fiery is nightmares. We're now 24 7 in the wildfire catastrophic mindset. 24 7, any time of year. Any time of year, any time, day or night. Brett Gibson and Greg Schwab are both fire chiefs in Boulder County, Colorado. They've watched what they call a steep upward trend in fire suppression and prevention needs in recent years. What do you attribute that to? We're getting hotter, drier, and windier. Um, or having more extreme weather. Those conditions, unfortunately, creating the perfect recipe for Colorado's largest and most destructive fires in the last four years. Sustained winds over 60 miles an hour for hours at a time. Our host streams become very ineffective about 40 miles an hour. Anything that can put the wind in check is certainly has my attention. Steve Wolf, CEO of Team Wildfire, has caught their attention with what he calls a hurricane on wheels. What makes this system work is a water. This would allow us to convert any fire truck that normally just squirts water. It flows up into the mist injection chamber, <laughs> which has 180 micro jets all driving water into the center and then, it just and then it the out. jet engine exhaust just pushes it out. Wolf is a Hollywood special effects coordinator, previously working on films like The Chef. But the idea for this machine sparked while on set of The Firm. We took technology that had been used to make weather on movie sets and converted that to a mobile platform so that firefighters could control the wind and the rain in the microclimate where they're fighting the fire. Controlled burns help them train. Wolf showed us how the power of a small jet engine it sounds like a plane taking off. <laughs> can shoot a mist hundreds of miles per hour, reaching nearly 200 feet away. Is this also what combats all of the wind issues that they face? That's right. Because it's, it's going faster. Right, right, because you're pushing back with so much force and because wind that has moisture in it weighs more, you can punch right into the inbound winds. Efficiency tests found the jet injected mist system makes the water that's used six to ten times more effective, putting out more fire with less water. Wolf has plans to create a whole fleet of these machines in different sizes, from this UTV to ones 50 times bigger to help fight fires across an array of landscapes. Innovative new tech like this, top of mind across the country for new solutions, like the L.A. Fire Department's Thermite RS3, a robot used for complex structure fires, and Lockheed Martin's AI technology used to predict a fire's path and best course of action to fight it. How important is it that new technology continues to be developed given how much we're seeing in the changes of climate and the frequency of fires? We embrace all technologies. We do want to prove them. This is a very labor-intensive business, and everybody who's on the ground is at risk. Anything that we can do to reduce that, let's try it. Wow. Great at the idea. heart of the problem around wildfires are the people, the ones whose yeah. homes are destroyed and the firefighters who risk their lives. And the reality is the conditions now are increasingly dangerous to even send humans into. So if automated technology can step up instead, it'll be an investment for fire departments, but it's ones that fire chiefs tell me is worth it to keep their teams and the community safe. Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. then, like, you, you can send this unit in, you exactly. know, and just beef it up even sure. more. And no one's lives are at risk. It's incredible. Wow. That's a good idea. Exactly. Thank sense. you. A solution. Thanks for introducing uh -huh. us to a possible solution, Mara. And here is how you can find out more. Need help making a difference? Hey Siri, how can I reduce my carbon footprint? Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.